Well, foreclosure activity remains low, but it continues to trend upward. Remember, during the pandemic, we had no foreclosure activity, so these numbers have nowhere to go but up. We had 83 homes entering the foreclosure process. Notice a default stage last month in the high desert, and we have 15 that actually went back to the bank. So again, those numbers are really low, but we continue to watch those as we consider that a lead indicator in this market. Last week, we only added six homes on the market. So we're at 1,705 homes currently on the MLS, way better than the week prior to that when we added 106 homes. Um, we had 75 pendings last week, which is good. Um, you know, there's no doubt there's not a lack of buyers out there. We have tons of buyers um, that are still ready, willing, and able to buy. But again, we have a lack of affordability. So like I said, unless we see this Fed reduce some rates here pretty soon, um, Again, only one thing has to happen and, and prices have to continue to drop to get affordable. Like I said, we have plenty of buyers. We just do not have affordable homes. So we're getting there. You know, the message is getting out. Our price reduction column continues to rise. 128 price reductions last week. So people are getting the message. We're spreading the message. We're getting it out there that, hey, the prices that we saw a year ago are no longer there. The buyer cannot afford it at this interest rate. So we're doing the right things. The market is moving in the right direction, even though people think when we lose home appreciation, it's not a good thing. This is a good thing considering what the interest rate is doing. Have a look at the data. I hope you guys have a great day.